Hi guys, I'm back with another one and in this one we are going to take a look at something really interesting and I don't know, uh, it's so interesting that I don't even know it's for you. So, let's see. Um, we have the iFlight Blitz F7 Pro V.1. Um, what, uh, uh, why I'm saying uh, this, I'm not sure it's even for you because it's the newest um, flight controller for, uh, from iFlight but it, there's a catch. Uh, let's unbox it first and then I will go over everything else. So uh, inside there's a flight controller, your different wiring harnesses, your rubber gummies, and your USB. So uh, the whole point of this um, flight controller is that it uses the latest and greatest um, uh, electronics on board, but that comes at the cost of size. So uh, beforehand uh, I never knew that uh, there was 13.5 by 35 mounting options just to give you a perspective this is this iFlight flight controller and this is your standard flight controller 13 by 13 uh, 13.5 by 13.5 so yeah uh, it doesn't fit it doesn't fit any uh, of the stacks I mean this this um, hobby wings are standard what you would use um, in your racing quad, long range quad, freestyle quads even uh, people use them, two of these people use in signal lifters uh, talking about the signal lifters um, this uh, flight controller is meant for uh, iFlight signal lifters but also there's a catch with that because uh, there's no uh, double uh, double uh, ESC that can uh, connect uh, to that and also uh, to accommodate the mounting if you want to stack it um, but there's also uh, only one um, um, ESC that I will leave a link in the description and uh, a little picture here that is 35 by 35 so you can use this as uh, oversized uh, stack with that um, ESC I mean it look beautiful and it uh, also has all the bells and whistles but uh, either you are going to uh, build your own quad make your own quad and consider uh, using 35 by 35 uh, mounting uh, for it or I don't know uh, I uh, read the specs on uh, iFlight's um, signal lifter quad and it uses individual, eight individual ESCs with some kind of PDB that it's not listed at, uh, uh, on their site but maybe you can uh, mount it like so and do the stack somewhere else but there's also one more thing but I, I, will, I will do come to that uh, a bit later on. So let's go over the ESC um, itself. Uh, we have the uh, really nice nifty uh, um, isolation uh, for all the electronics so nothing is exposed uh, so all of your electronics are RF shielded. You uh, maybe remember this kind of RF shields from um, VTXs that are protected from uh, any electrical uh, interference so they are grounded everywhere so you don't um, have any bits of uh, flight controller exposed um, but it's all uh, really nicely shielded uh, here and also you don't have any pads that you can solder on you have just the plugs that are used for your peripherals. So talking about um, 
that let's go over and see uh, what we have uh, here so there's a uh, There's um, some kind of if you, if yeah if it's a yellow wire there's usually uh, some sort of uh, video uh, input or output. Also, we have some proprietary so you can so you can solder on yourself. Let's see. There's also one here. I mean, there are lots of, lots of, lots of cables. So, uh, first of all, the one that's not uh, really, um, mm, it, it even is. So, uh, I thought uh, this one uh, you would use with the air unit, uh, but to be honest, this is the one for the air unit. Um, so for the air unit, you will need this. Sorry. So for the air unit, you will uh, need uh, this cable. I thought it was this one, but actually I'm not sure uh, what's this cable for. I think it's uh, GPS. I mean, it's yeah, it fits. It fits the the slot for the GPS, and it has this convenient uh, shield to shield the. Uh, very sensitive uh, wires for the GPS. So yeah, uh, let's start over here. So uh, we have ground 5 volt RX and TX uh, for this uh, plug here, and I'm pretty sure you will use this for your um, RX uh, for your receivers and stuff like that. So you even if you use. Crossfire or, or Ghost or whatever. Um, this one is actually for your ESC, but there's a catch with this one because uh, there are also two because you have um, pads here. So you have your ground VWAT motor uh, 1 to 4 current and um, RX and you have on the other side uh, motors uh, 5, 6, 7 and 8 so you will connect two ESCs to this to this flight controller so you can uh, uh, power on your uh, X8 stuff, signal lifters and so on you don't need to uh, to split the wires or, or do anything like that you have already 8 Eight um, motor signals, but uh, also it's um, something uh, for your uh, iFlight uh, flight uh, ESCs. I'm not sure if they are using uh, your normal your normal um, ESC plugs or they are using some kind of proprietary ones. Either way, uh, you will need to solder on to any other um, ESC uh, other than uh, iFlights. Uh, we have, uh, I, I already gone over uh, this uh, here, this is the, this is the um, uh, receiver pad and we have um, LED bars, uh, bars here and if you're running your analog you will um, go to here this is a 3 pin uh, actually there is there is but there isn't any well that's kind of odd so yeah um, 
you don't have uh, maybe I'm missing something uh, you don't have the plug that corresponds to to this, this these are all these are three pin and these are all four pin four pin plugs but let me this also and this is not the correct format so uh, either way you can do it but the, it's not really meant for uh, for uh, your analog stuff um, it's also this port is also just a breakaway for your for your USB because um, it's uh, the flight controller is uh, uh, usually stacked somewhere inside your build and you can run your breakaway cable breakaway USB uh, out to the to the side of your usually a large large um, um, Cine lifter quads. So yeah, this is really really interesting and really nice uh, because it, it has really nice components. The finishing and production of the the unit is, I mean, superb. The whole idea of RF shielding the the um, uh, FC is, I mean, really really nice. Uh, it it's not needed usually but it's good to have uh, that on board uh, what's other standard feature is that you can connect uh, two ESC's uh, to this board without soldering with these uh, two cables uh, but take note that these are uh, some kind of proprietary iFlight cables and doesn't fit your uh, your standard um, ESCs. Uh, either way, you cannot stack them uh, with this because the whole pattern is uh, 35 by 35, not your usually usual 13 by 30. Um, that has your ability to stack um, everything. Um, also, you have your your um, um, air unit connectivity from just one one plug you have your uh, nicely elongated um, cable to plug your to your um, uh, GPS uh, to that according plug and yeah overall this this is I mean really really nice um, uh, FC but unfortunately I made a mistake and I thought it was just your standard um, uh, FC, but it turns out that it's some kind of iFlight's proprietary um, thing that I don't know. It, please uh, correct me or tell me what uh, other frames uh, out there are using 35 by 35 uh, mounting. Uh, I'm not that big into signal lifters. I didn't build uh, one, but I. Don't, I know people who fly them and I know for a fact that they are using these Hobbywing um, ESCs with your Matek um, uh, flight controllers that also had, have um, two uh, plugs for the ESC jacks, it's just plug and play. I mean, it's really convenient to have something that you just simply buy and use on your uh, frames that are already there but yeah I don't know uh, maybe it's, it's just a um, replacement part for the iFlight signal lifters that are made available or, or also um, maybe they will start a trend uh, and m other manufacturers will make 35 by 35 uh, uh, ESCs and flight controllers so they can mount on on frames and you can stack them um, unfortunately I will not make a um, flight video uh, or setup video because if you are buying this then you already have uh, iFlight um, 
quad or single lifter and this is just replacement if you are replacing that uh, you just go uh, and into beta flight and do a dump and just um, paste the dump to have your all the settings um, as you had on the ones before for all of you that um, are brave enough to to buy this and uh, I don't know make a frame for it I, you don't need my expertise or my opinion you will know already what you're doing so yeah this is uh, overview and yeah a warning uh, to all of you not to make a mistake as I did uh, to buy this and expect uh, to, to get it uh, airborne because you probably don't have a frame or you don't have uh, other packs, uh, parts for the stack so yeah uh, yeah that's all for for this one and yeah see you in the next one